What is going on everybody? How is everybody doing today? Welcome here today to the first historic Madden rebuild on the channel and we are going to be rebuilding the 2007 Oakland Raiders. So before we get into the rebuild, if you guys want to see more historic rebuilds, let me know by dropping a thumbs up on this video and letting me know down below which team we could do next. But today I decided to choose the Oakland Raiders. So the best historic class, I think, or roster, I should say, on Madden 21 on Xbox was 2007. That's the best I could find. There could be more other ones. But yeah, I chose the Oakland Raiders because they were pretty bad in 2007. They went 4-12. and Their head coach was Lane Kiffin. Their offensive coordinator was Greg Knapp. Defensive coordinator, Rob Ryan. This was the first season for the number one overall pick in the 2007 draft, Marcus Russell. We all know how his career turned out. But yeah, we are going to take a, our control of the Oakland Raiders. Now, the faces might be off, but the names are right. This draft class, or excuse me, the roster is very well done. And the guy who created this roster, I believe, has a 2008, 9, and 10 draft class already on uh, the Madden share, almost a 2K share. But yeah, we got Jamarcus Russell, 22 years old, rookie out of LSU. I mean, we'll see how he does. Our running back is Dominic Rhodes. I was like really hoping this would maybe be like the Darren McFadden era, but it was not. So we got Dominic Rhodes from Midwestern State. He is 27 years old. Uh, and then we got Justin Fargus. Obviously, that's the face of James Conner, but uh, he's got a start development too. So we can bump him up there. Our wide receiver one is Jerry Porter, 30-year-old former Mountaineer. We'll see if he's going to be our receiver throughout this video. If he'll, I don't know be good for us or not we got ronald curry not not really much there and in the slot we are also gonna have travis taylor the receiving core not very good we do have zach miller though at tight end who was pretty good for the bears throughout his career ronald curry was probably their best receiver throughout this year we do have a superstar development tim dwight um 32 years old okay he's a 69 overall i don't know if he'll be anything the old line isn't bad on the left side like barry sims he's 32 though um and then robert gallery who is 28 okay i mean we're probably gonna have to upgrade this old line it's still not great at all matt Furch, and then over on the right side we have paul mcquiston it's like crazy because like some of these names you're like wow i completely forgot about those players on the defensive side of the ball we have nemani awesome that is our top guy he is still fairly young correct 25 beautiful he's our like star defensive player of this video going nowhere do we is this warren sap oh my god 37 years old 37 year old Warren Sapp. Sheesh. All right, we got Tommy Kelly on the left end. We are going to have Gerald Warren, or uh, Gerard Warren, excuse me, over as our D tackle too. Derek Burgess. And then, yeah, the defense is not bad. I mean, this team did go for, is not good. This team went four and 12. So we're going to look to upgrade this team in multiple positions. They ended up with the third overall pick, or excuse me, fourth overall pick in the 2008 draft. They took Darren McFadden. I don't know if I'll be taking a running back that high. Stanford route or route could be pretty good for us. Uh, yeah, I mean, also we have uh, Michael Huff, 25 years old. Farrell Young in his career, he's an 80 overall. He could be something for us. But yeah, this team's not going to be great. We have Sebastian Janikowski, one of the best kickers of all time. He's 30 years old. And we have Shane Weckler, one of the best punters of all time. So at least we have a really good special teams. And then I guess Tim Dwight is mainly because of his kick return and punt return ability. I don't know. Like, what's his uh, what's his speed? 90? Don't know why he's... Uh, um, a superstar development. So I'm going, going to advance a couple weeks. I do have Wayne Kiffin as our coach, and then I'm going to import the draft class just to show you guys kind of what it's going to look like in the 2008 offseason. But this upcoming draft, uh, it's not going to be the greatest. Like the number one overall pick was Jake Long. You got Chris Long that went to Matt Ryan went three. Like, I don't think Jamarcus Russell is going to be the quarterback for the future just because He's got normal development. I mean, we did beat this. Oh, wait, we're in the preseason. Hold on. <laughs> like the quarterback class was Matt Ryan, Joe Flacco, Chad Henney, Matt Flynn. There was some really good running backs. So we could look to upgrade there. You have Matt Forte. You have Darren McFadden, CJ2K, Chris Johnson, Jamal Charles, Jonathan Stewart, Ray Rice, Rashard Mendenhall, Justin Forsett. It's a pretty good uh, running back draft class. Also somebody that was on a Madden cover, Peyton Hillis as well. And then for receivers, there's still some solid ones. You got Deshaun Jackson, Jordy Nelson, Pierre Garçon, Stevie Johnson, or Steve Johnson, I don't know why I said that, Martellus Bennett, Eddie Royal. It's all right, but like, yeah, if we do need a running back, this is the class to get one. So we're going to import the 2008 class. And yeah, he has it all the way up to 2011, which is really nice. So here are the top guys according to his class. We got Matt Ryan, we got King Dunlop. Okay, obviously we're going to have Matt Ryan at the top of our board. Kawhi's Campbell, okay. Jeff Oda, Dwayne Brown. All right. Like we could get some good alignment. Definitely. Obviously I mentioned the good running back class. Yeah. Like there is some studs in this class. I would be fine. I, I mean, Ray Rice, like, oh, for what he became for pretty much more bad reasons than good reasons. But yeah, I'm going to simulate the season. Uh, we are 0-2 so far. Now we're 1-1 and we'll see how we do. And if Jamarcus Russell is our franchise quarterback, but I don't think he will be.
So we were a little bit better than what the 4-12 and 12 team did in real life in 2007. Actually, we were a lot better. We went 8-8, eight and eight, which is, yeah, we're going to have a middle tier pick, not going to have a top end. So, like, Matt Ryan is definitely not in our future. 8-8 eight and eight is pretty good, though. For what I expected out of this team, I didn't expect to be that good. Jamarcus Russell was pretty bad, though. <laughs> pretty bad. But if I don't find my franchise quarterback this offseason, he's probably going to start for us next offseason. Or, excuse me, next season. I don't know why I said offseason. Dominic Rhodes was all right. But, yeah, like I said multiple times, loaded running back class. We could look to draft our franchise running back. Ronald Curry, not bad. Zach Miller. I think he could be, like, our staple tight end throughout this uh, rebuild. Blocking-wise, it's... Oh, jeez. Barry, Barry Sims, really. You are you were an 85-plus or an 80-plus, and that's what you're doing for us. Not very good. Okay, Warren Sapp had 13 sacks. Sheesh. And then uh, Nemanja Asamoah had five interceptions. Very nice stuff there. So if we're going to take a look at the awards, because this will actually be interesting. Tom Brady won MVP. Vince Young was number four. Matt Schaub, seven. Jason Campbell, number nine. Chad Pennington. Uh, so the coaches aren't correct, but that's fine. Like, the roster is good enough. So if we take a look at AFC Offensive Player of the Year, LT number four. Um, you have Derek Anderson, number six. You have uh, Chad Pennington, number nine. Defensive Player of the Year, you got Junior Seau. Uh, Mario Williams, and he, um, okay, Warren Sapp at number five, Asamoah at number seven, not too bad. Jamarcus Russell does not get off of the year. Wow, Lynch, I guess you can't make in a um, a roster because what you know what a Lynch is, but, like, interesting that Madden won't allow you to do that because obviously there's no, like, malice in that. It's Marshawn Lynch. He's, everybody knows who Marshawn Lynch is. I, I don't know about that, but, uh. Yeah, here were your offensive rookie of the year. You got uh, Antonio Holmes there at four and the defensive rookie of the year. I'm pretty sure these are correct. Like these all, all these guys were actually rookies, which is like a job well done to this roster creator. It's literally you go onto Xbox's roster and um, on the share, and it's like the 10th highest downloaded one. It's like the first non-active like active one. And yeah, the guy did a really good job. So here are the playoff bracket, or here's the playoff bracket if you wanted to see. These Saints get the one seed as well as these, at the time, San Diego Chargers. So we'll see if LT and Phillip Rivers can get a ring or at least for Phillip. And the Colts beat the Giants in the battle of the Manning brothers in the Super Bowl. That would be pretty cool. Not going to lie. So Marvin Harrison retires. Amari Toomer. Oh, my God. I remember him. Brett Favre retiring. So we want to take a look at if anybody on our team retired. Yeah, there goes Warren uh, Sapp. And there goes Tim Dwight. You can see some of the other retirements. Brian Dawkins decided to retire. Isaac Bruce retiring after one year. Okay, yeah, because they just put him in the game. Larry Allen. Pete Carroll retiring. At this time... He would only be in the... Wasn't this his, like, rookie year? I don't know. Or did he come in, like, 2009? Like, around then. So, we have some contract extensions. And, boom. Well, we have our best player already as a free agent. We have a ton of money, though. So, I'm going to give him... I mean, if he doesn't accept this, I would tag him. But, yeah. We're going to pay Damani Asamoah a lot of money. Boom. He comes back. Dominic Rhodes not going to bring back because we can look at running backs. Uh, Stanford Route. I'm going to look to bring him back. I mean, he could be like a slot corner if it came to be, and he does resign with us. Tommy Kelly, we probably could use. He's 27. Uh, I think I can ink him up on a two-year deal. We'll still have 80-plus million in free agency money. I don't know how the free agency class is going to look like. So that will be it. Um, and yeah, we don't have like our punter and kicker. So we will move on here to free agency. So on to free agency, we have $84 million. Steven Jackson, the top free agent. I don't know if I want to spend it on a running back. You got Ty Law, but he's 33. And we're probably not in position to really go after him. Sean Phillips is somebody we could use. That is somebody we could pay a lot of money to. Heinz Ward out of here, Fred Taylor. Mike Vrabel, the current head coach. Oh my God, he was 33 at that time in 2007. So he's like, what? He's about 47. Yeah, he's still a young quarterback. Aaron Rodgers is here. Why couldn't they actually get the real face for Aaron Rodgers? I don't know, but 24 years old. Interesting. Far retired. We'll see. The Packers do not want to make him their franchise quarterback. That's pretty cool. Bart Scott here. He's 29. I think I'm going to go after Sean Phillips. I think that's the guy I would like to sign. We're going to use a lot of money on him. Oh my God. He, he wants a lot of money. He does. So uh, that should definitely be his number one offer. No, that's only 94 points. Wow. He wants... He wants big time money. Um, yeah, that's going to be a huge cap hit. I really hope this is worth it. 101 total points. We're number one. Let's hope we can snag him. I mean, we could look at receivers. Dante Stallworth, uh, Nate Burleson. Yeah, not, nothing like crazy good here. Nothing crazy good. So we can target stuff in the draft. Uh, so we'll just get advanced a week. Please tell me I got Sean Phillips. And we did. Let's go. That is huge. So we now have combine numbers. We'll take a look at these. I do want to scout some receivers, even though I mentioned before, not the best receiver class in the world. So like Jordy Nelson, I would love to get, but he's like a first round guy. We could use a uh, first round pick on it. Stevie Johnson. See, I, I, I remember it as Stevie Johnson, but uh, I don't know if you pronounce it as Steve. So Donnie Avery, Eddie Royal. Yeah, like we got all these guys scouted out. I don't know if there's Jerome Simpson, the man for the front flip. Andre Caldwell, he's here. Matt Slater. 
Oh my god, Lime is sweet. Shout out to the Steelers, right? All right, so we have most of the guys scouted out that I probably feel comfortable drafting. Um, yeah, definitely. Tight end out here. Um, it's not a great... Oh my god, Dustin Keller's here. I'll scout him out. Jermichael Finley, Martellus Bennett, Gary Barnage. Um, yeah, we could scout those guys. I'm pretty good with that. So, uh, I do want to see corners here. Keep to leave. Dominique, uh, Rogers Comarty, Brandon Flowers, Brandon Carr. Yeah, we got to scout, like, Orlando Skandrick. We could scout out, um, Antoine Kaysen if the game wants to be all right. So, we could just scout all these guys in between. Uh, we noticed McKelvin could be pretty good, and that's all we could do. A uh, offshore corner right there that I just saw. So, yeah, here is the quarterback class. Not very good uh, when you're looking for a franchise quarterback. We could scout out some more running backs. But Jarvis Green Ellis is here. Look at that. Uh, Felix Jones, Tim Hightower. Oh, my God. Steve Slade and Danny Woodhead. PPR machine, Justin Forsett. And we really can't scout him fully. But, yeah, some cool running back names there. And we could look for D-line. Like, we expect, like, this team is not very good at all. I don't know how we won eight games. But, uh, yeah, we need to look at some defensive line help. Uh, we have all our picks, correct? Yeah. So, I don't think, like, if you were the Ram like, if you were the Rams, like, you wouldn't get your first round pick, which would kind of stink because uh, there's no trade override. So, they won't, like, revert back to the old picks because, yeah, there's no trade override. But for picks, at least. Like, yeah, for players, you can make them, like, a punter and stuff like that. But it is, unfortunately, when it comes to draft picks. So, it's time to start the NFL draft. I'm guessing Matt Ryan will be number one. Um, I, yeah, because they did not have Matthew Stafford at the time. So they get a different Matt. And yeah, they get Matt Ryan out of Boston College. We're picking at 14. King Dunlap goes two. Kawhi's Campbell goes three. Like that's somebody I definitely would have definitely would have taken if Matt Ryan was off the board. Ryan Clady, Dwayne Brown. A lot of good uh offensive linemen in this class. Definitely. Uh William Hayes, 71 overall. Chris Johnson. Oh my god. And that's cool. He gets drafted by the Titans. That's what I'm talking about. Uh Jeff Oda. I don't think I was gonna go running back in round one. Deshaun Jackson, I would have thought about him. Okay, so there definitely is a Jordy Nelson who played for the Raiders at the end of his career option as Joe Flacco goes to the Chiefs. So who do we want here? Philip Wheeler, we could get like him and Sean Willips, uh, Sean Willips, Phillips as our outside linebacker. Jamal Charles is very interesting, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I mean, Jordy Nelson would kind of be huge for us as well. Gerard Mayo, we could use. Oh my God, like he's a stud. A keep to leave. Imagine a keep to leave and Nemanja Asamoah. Awesome oh my God, there's so many good options. Darren McFadden, the uh, the actual Raiders pick. So it's down to a couple guys. Um, Gerard Mayo, a keep to leave. Jordy Nelson, and Jamal Charles. Who do I want? Who do I want? I can't take a running back here. I can't. We have too many other needs to go running back. So it's really going to be Jordy Nelson, um, Gerard Mayo, or Akib Tlaib. I do want to take a look at my depth chart just to make sure there was nobody that I'm missing. That I'm like, all right, I can kind of deal with it. So like our wide receiving core is pretty horrible. It is. And our own line is also really bad. Uh, we have Sean Phillips. I mean, like we don't need Gerard Mayo like as badly as we could maybe use a Akeem Tlaib or Jordy Nelson. I, I like. I feel like Akeem Tlaib is going to be like an 81 overall like Elias Campbell. Oh, okay. So I'm ruling out Gerard Mayo. It's between Jordy Nelson or Akeem Tlaib. I feel like he's just so good. Like we're going to have two elite corners. I, I think I want to do that. I think I'm going to take Akeem Tlaib. Yep, we're going to do that. He is an 83 overall, second in true value, hidden development. Yep. I, I knew he was going to be that good. I, I knew it. Like, that combine was too good. His grades were just too good. And Jordy Nelson's the pick after. He was a 78. Uh, he's in Cleveland. Gerard Mayo, the pick after. Look at that. And I was about to say, is this going to be like Phil Wheeler? So, uh, Cliff Abril going to the Panthers. We'll just look at the top 20. And there's Cromartie. So, I wonder who was the number one player in the draft. I wish I'd kind of like said that for you. I'll see you guys with my next pick. So we're on the board here. This would be pick what? Uh, 46. So Gino Hayes, not a bad option here. We we do need, like, could use another outside linebacker. Matt Flinch on any, I'll pass on those guys. Uh, so yeah, we could go that outside linebacker. Jonathan Stewart, I think I could have still waited on a running back. Uh, Kendall Langford, we do need D lineman. Uh, Thomas DeCow, we could use a safety. Leonis McKelvin, I don't need another corner. Um, Charles Godfrey, oh my God, former Panther. Ooh. I'd kind of like to bolster up the secondary. Peyton Hillis is here. I don't think I'm going to go Peyton Hillis uh, or Jay Hoover. So I kind of like Charles Godfrey, but I want to make sure, like, to be honest, I already forgot who my state, uh, my safeties were. So let me just make sure my strong safety is, ah, it's Michael Hoff. I mean, we could move him. He'd be an 81 free safety. You know what? I think I'm going to take Charles Godfrey. We are really bolstering this secondary up and kind of committing to that. I Like corner, I think is like one of the most important positions on, I think it's the most important position on the defensive side of the ball. And then we're going to add up a safety as well. That could be really good down the line. He is a, let me just see, Um, where is Charles Godfrey? He is a third round grade, but we're probably not going to give him the third round. Let's take him up now. 72 overall normal development. Not great. 
All right, so finished up the 2008 NFL draft. We have Akeem Tlaib, Charles Godfrey, two new secondary members. Uh, Kareem McAllister, not as good as I wanted him to be. I took Danny Woodhead in the fourth round. He'll probably be my starting running back next year. Connor Medlin, not great either. Took him in the sixth. Uh, Theo Gatewood, Theo Gatewood, um, and Jonathan McGee probably won't be anything for us. So really just Woodhead, McAllister, Godfrey, and Tlaib are the notable picks here, especially with Akeem Tlaib. Dude's going to be a stud for us. We just got to put him through like a don't snatch a chain like review session before his career starts. So the O-line is pretty much the same as last year. We just have Jay Bronson in at right guard. Zach Miller is still in that tight end. The left side is still a little bit better, but these guys are getting up there in age, unfortunately. Danny Wooded will be the starting running backs. Um, we are going to have Jamarcus Russell, like we have Dante Culpepper, uh, but he'll be the starting quarterback. We have Mike Williams out there as our wide receiver two. We have Johnny Lee Higgins as our wide receiver three, and still we have Jerry Porter as our wide receiver one. On to the defensive side of the ball, we have Akeem Tlaib. We have Nemanja. Asimov, and then we have Stanford route. So uh, that's pretty good for us. Uh, we have Gerald uh, Gerard Warren still here. I mean, like the D line is not very good. We could actually go to a three, four. I don't really think it'll make a difference too much. So I would, I mean, McAllister probably won't be, yeah, he's not gonna play over Phillips or Howard. We still have Michael Huff. We have Godfrey over there at str uh, free safety. And yeah, like we're gonna see how we do. Uh, Tommy Kelly is a star development. I don't remember if he was last year. But either way, I don't expect to be all that good this year. One game one. Do we start off 2-0? Oh, we cannot. But I do want to... Oh, no. We got to go one more week until I can show you the scouting for the 2009 NFL draft. Oh, wait. No. Just kidding. I, I guess I forgot to take scouting off of... Yeah. Wait, no. It was on manual and I made it to auto. Annoying. So, looking at quarterback, we got Matthew Stafford, and that's probably all I would want to take a chance on. Uh, we can look at free agency. I mean, Mark Sanchez might, okay, or Josh Freeman. Oh, I remember Josh Freeman in Tampa Bay. Uh, those are the days. So, a pretty good running back class, as usual. Or, I mean, not great, but you have a Sean McCoy and Aaron Foster. Foster was undrafted, obviously. We are looking at wide receivers. So, we could look at Michael Crabtree. He'd be huge out of Oh, my God, Crabtree and Tlaib on the same team. That'd be something else. Mike Wallace out of Ole Miss. Even Hakeem Nix out of UNC. A couple for, uh, former Steelers in Hayward Bay and Mike Wallace on this list. Jeremy Macklin, Kenny Britt, Percy Harvin, Brandon Tate, Austin Colley, uh, a Colts legend. Um, tight end, nothing great. Wait, is this a different Zach Miller? Maybe that's the Barry Zach Miller. Oh, my bad on that. So, uh, like, yeah, TJ Lang could be somebody we can go after. Uh, Alex Mack, that could be kind of huge if we were able to pick up a good center. But, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys at the end of the year. Clay Matthews in this class. Sheesh. Um, uh, Brian oh, Rockpo, former Red or Washington football team member. Vontae Davis, Jason McGordy, Sean Smith. All right, is... Uh, Malcolm Jenkins in this class as well. Patrick Chung. All right. Well, we'll see how that goes. Still not a loaded draft class, but very good. And uh, we're 2-2 two and two at the moment. All right. So another year we did not make the playoffs. We went 5-11. and 11, So we were 2-2. Two and two, And then we ended up going 3-9 and nine after those games. So we'll take a look at the stats. I mean, Jamarcus Russell was better this year than he was last year, even though we won three less games. I guess maybe that was because of Warren Sapp. Danny Wood had not great. And Terrell Thomas got a lot of carries as well. Probably not in the greatest scheme in the world either. Zach Miller was really good for us. Mike Williams. And there is Jerry Porter. We are definitely looking to upgrade receiver in the offseason. Receiver, O-line, and probably D-line. Those are the three things we need to do. Um, Kirk Morrison led us in tackles. We had Thomas Howard at number two. And then in sack, Sean Phillips. Looking like he was worth a lot of money, but I'm glad I paid him um, if he's going to perform like that. Uh, Nemanja Asimov, well, one interception. Akeem Tlaib, one interception. I'm hoping Akeem Tlaib maybe one. I doubt it, but... Uh, as of Tom Brady wins MVP, Michael Vick is number three on that. There's Tony Romo. Uh, but going on the AFC Defensive Rookie of the Year, Akeem Tlaib. No, he was four. Godfrey was three. Damn, that hurts. So we'll see who wins the 2008 season Super Bowl. And it is going to be the Pittsburgh Steelers over at the time it was the Washington Redskins. So the Steelers ended up winning. Did they win in 2009? Or, or no, that was 2008, right? Because they went back in 2010. Yeah, because I remember in fourth grade they won it, and then they didn't make it in fifth grade because I think that was – was that the Giants? Or that might have been the Saints year. And then it was the Steelers losing to the uh, Packers in 2010. So, uh, yeah, the Steelers did not win the 2009 Super Bowl. And we will look to re-sign some players. We have an important one, Shane Leckler, who is going to get a – three-year deal for me. I mean, he's like one of the top players in the league. So we can look to invest into special teams just a little bit, and he should accept that. And if he didn't, I was going to tag him. Jerry Porter, honestly, we could let walk. Jeremy Newberry, I mean, we might be just so thin at center. It might not be a bad idea. Okay, we can just look at him in uh, free agency. So yeah, we're going to go out. We need to target the three things I mentioned. Defensive line, offensive line, and receiver. We have $88 million to spend. So let's hope there's some guys. 
Okay, Antonio Cromartie's here. Now I kind of wish I didn't draft to keep to leave, but now that's fine. Uh, Jonathan Ogden. Okay, he's 33. Marcus McNeil, though. That's a more important guy because he is 26 years old. Is this Jeff Saturday? How is Jeff start out? What? Oh, see him in your... I mean, he's 27. Okay, so there's definitely some good O-line members and D-line members. So I think I'm about to spend a lot of money. I, I think so. Is there like a game-changing receiver out here? Um, no. Uh, not really not at all. Nate Washington. Uh, Dominique Hickson was there. I mean, running backs, I don't... Like, Michael Turner would... No, I'm not even going to bother. So, uh, quarterback, is that Seneca Wallace? They can't even type out Seneca. All right. Wow, Eric Waddle is here as well. But uh, looking at my negotiations, I'll show you guys who I offered contracts to. It's all um, linemen pretty much. So, uh, yeah, we offered a deal to Marcus McNeil. Hopefully, we get him. I actually kind of want to pay him a little bit more just to make sure I pick him up because I think that would just be massive. Getting a 92 overall, 26-year-old tackle. Um, O.C. Minor offered a contract to uh, Darren College, who we'll definitely get because we're his only offer. Cohen Jenkins and Matt Burke. I think that would be a pretty massive um, or massive additions if we can go five for five there, but I, I wouldn't have my hopes up. So uh, we have new car. Oh, no. Did I forget to put it on auto scouting? I think I did. Oh, I'm so dumb. I, I completely forgot to do that. Monte Davis is here. Okay. Um, that's just a brain fart by me. I apologize. Uh, we get Burke. We get you manure. We get college. We get Jenkins and we don't get McNeil. Damn. Like McNeil was my number one guy that I really wanted. So we can look at TJ Lang here. Uh, we have pick three. Uh, I don't think I'm going to take Crabtree that high. We could go TJ Lang. That is my, like, shoe win pick. If not, then I'm going Clay Matthews. So it's, yeah, Langer Matthews I'm taking there. Michael Bennett wouldn't be bad having Bennett and Yu Uh So I already kind of know who I'm taking with my first round. So I'm gonna, let me look at second round, guys. I mean, running back, Aaron Foster's on the board. I would probably take him on Rashawn Moreno. Could look at that, but receiver. I'm definitely going receiver in the second round. Uh, so Jeremy Macklin, I don't know if he'll be there. Percy Harvin, okay. Kenny Britt. Um, we're going to scout him out at least Lewis Murphy and Brandon Tate. So, um, I don't, I can't see what one, two, three, four, five, like six or seven receivers going in round one. I mean, it definitely could happen, but, uh, Brian Hartline, not as good. Kevin Ogletree. Oh my God. I remember him. Mike Thomas, Austin Colley. All right. Uh, yeah, not much else out there. I just really upset. I forgot to put on auto scouting. So we do have a fifth year option. Is it, uh, it's Zach Miller. Yeah, we could definitely pick that up. Alex Mack is a projected second round pick. Like, I mean, I would love him, but I don't know if he's going to follow me, but we could, uh, just look at some centers. I would have to figure out who that is. Cause I just don't know off the top of my head. AQ Shipley. We could also look at any other guards. Luis Vasquez, Andy Lavetri, uh, Matt Slauson's not even a positive grade guy. Damn. Lance Lewis. So that is pretty much it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Another year of Jamarcus Russell, most likely. Hopefully it is the last. <laughs> I'm going to be waiting till what year? It's going to be our third year with Jamarcus Russell. I mean, maybe I'll look at the trade finder, but uh, yeah, I don't know what's taking so long for me to figure this out. So the Jets at number one. I mean, if Stafford is there at three, I'll think about it. Um, And I just, why did I do that? I, I, I don't know. Uh, so Jerry's Bird went second and who went one? Was it? Wait, who went number one? I guess there is no way to find out. So uh, Matthew Stafford is still on the board. I was going to go like Clay Matthews, honestly. Um, TJ Lang would also be kind of huge because we do need to tackle up. Matthew Stafford, though. Uh, Matthew, Stafford. Matthew Stafford. I don't know. I might wait a year. I don't, I don't, I don't, I think I'm going to go left tackle. Uh, we do need help on that, uh, side. I mean, we could look at Michael Bennett, but I would maybe go Michael Bennett. Oh, Jeremy Macklin is graded at high in the combine. If we ended up getting, uh, McNeil in free agency, but since we didn't, I'm going to go after TJ Lang, get a good tackle, 75 overall hidden development. I'm fine with 26 and two value. He'll be star better. It's fine with me. So in the second round, we need to draft a difference maker. And I feel like all the receivers, oh, Sean McCoy is here. Oh my God. All right. I didn't think about running back, but uh, I didn't even scout with Sean McCoy. So that is interesting. Receivers. Oh, we might just have another year of terrible receivers. We might. Uh, is Alex Mack here? No, he is not. Um, We could use some offensive line help, but getting with Sean McCoy is actually kind of massive. Yeah, I'm not even going to hesitate. Let's take Vashon McCoy. Yeah, let's do it. Please be good. Please be good. Yeah, 80 overall, fifth and true value. That was a no-brainer, I think. And I'm going to be able to get AQ Shipley in the third round. Not too good, though. Okay, I'm taking him. He's got a 7.1 combine grade. Join Edelman. Let's do it. Let's go. He's actually pretty good. Oh, my God. Hidden development, 38th and true value. We took him in 99. I didn't even notice he was there. And I was like, let's just take the man out of Kent State. Let's go. We actually got a receiver that could be useful in this draft. I did not expect that after I took Rashawn McCoy. So here is the draft recap. Not a bad draft whatsoever. So we ended up with TJ Lang, Rashawn McCoy, AQ Shipley, and Julian Edelman. That would pretty much be 
useful for us next season. But actually, we did end up getting Matt Burke, so maybe Shipley would be pretty good as, like, a guard. All right, so well, Rashawn McCoy, Julian Edelman, yeah, like, Mike Williams. I don't even know who this is. T Trevor Johnson. Uh, we'll still have Jamarcus Russell, who is the 74 overall. We got Matt Burke. Uh, Shipley, I guess we'll back him up. College there. We got TJ Lang on the outside. Gallery over at right guard. And, yeah, that could have been McNeil. That would have been very nice. On the defensive side of the ball, we got Charles Godfrey. We got Michael Huff still, who's an 82. We got uh, Sean Phillips. We still have, I want to see, he's new, um, Thomas Howard, as a start of Melbourne player. So yeah, I'm glad I never really went outside linebacker. We re really didn't need a uh, Clay Matthews. Kirk Morrison, not a bad overall either. We got um Gerald uh, Gerard Warren. I always want to say Gerald Warren. Still there as our D-tackle too. Honestly, our D-line is not that bad. Uh, I'm glad I really didn't go D-line either because Colin Jenkins is an absolute stud. We have Tlaib, Route, and uh, Nassani Asamoah. And then we still have Leckler and Janikowski. I do want to see who's our slot receiver. Honestly, I'm fine with it being Edelman. I really am. My slot corner, I want it to be a uh, route with uh, Tlaib and Asma on the outside. And we are going to take a look at the 2010 draft class here. Oh, it, it was kind of a rough time for quarterbacks. It really was. I mean, Sam Bradford, Tim Tebow, Jimmy Clausen. Th these are the three guys. I really hope there's a good one in free agency. I don't know if even a trade's an option, but yeah, we have yet to find our quarterback. So uh, Toby Guerra, we're obviously not looking at running back. Receiver Demaris Thomas, Des Bryant. I mean, like, if we can get, like, a quarterback in free agency and then, like, add one of those two guys, like, I mean, I think we're set. Gronk also in this class as well. I mean, I would love me some Gronk. Ndamukong Sue. Oh, my God. Like, he's going to be, like, possibly the number one overall pick. I'm just looking around. Joe Hayden in this class. Another Florida Gator at him. Tim Tebow. But, yeah, we'll see how we do at the end of the year. We're 0-2 to start the year, and we'll see what happens. So we went 5-11 once again, so not great. Didn't we go 5-11 last year? We had the third overall pick, so yeah, I would not mind having the third overall pick once again. But yeah, I'm either drafting a quarterback, trading for one, or signing one. Uh, Jamarcus Russell really isn't getting that much better. He's up to his 76 overall, but I do not think he's the answer at quarterback. Uh, LaShawn McCoy, I probably should have changed the scheme. That's on me again, but I'm fine. He's our franchise running back. Julian Edelman, stud. Zach Miller, really good season. That's just what I wanted to see out of these two guys. Blocking-wise, sacks... Yikes. Yikes from TJ Lang, but he's a rookie, so I'm fine with it. Defensive side, Kirk Morrison, 117 tackles. Sacks wise, nine for Phillips, seven for Jay Richardson. OC Yuminora had a half a sack. Okay. Um, and then two interceptions for Michael Huff. All right. So next year, I have to change um, Wayne Kiffin or at least our scheme. So I'm not going to do that yet, but I'll do that at the start of next year's season. Take a look at the 2010 retirements. Kurt Warner retiring. I don't know if anybody on our team specifically did. And Dane Looker. Could I say I knew who that was? No, I could not. So we do have some free agents. That Michael Huffett is. I mean, how old is he? He's 28. Okay, so I'd like to bring back some of these guys. Matt Burke, we don't really need to. Tommy Kelly. All right, I would like to. Oh, we have actually some important guys that are here. So let me start off with Tyus Howard. Uh, Tyus, oh my God. Why do I keep wanting to say Tyus? Thomas Howard. Uh, we're going to have to pay him a lot of money, but you can see we have $76 million in cap space. I'm going to give him a five-year deal. He should accept that. If not, I'll tag him. All right, we got him back. Kirk Morrison, I'd like to bring back as well. He's up to an 80 overall. Um, he was a pretty good middle linebacker for us last year. Good tackler. Boom, he's coming back. Matt Burke. We can look to bring back in free agency because we do have AQ Shipley. Uh, Tommy Kelly, I'm not going to give too much to. I'll give him what he wants, but a year less. Um, and he's going to test free agency. A tag would be 22 mil. So we'll see how much he's getting in free agency. And then I would like to bring back Michael Huff. I think he's a fine, strong safety for us. Um, so let's offer him. I'd prefer not to do a four-year-old if you're a four-year deal if you're 28. Okay, he's going to test free agency. I'm not going to tag him. Um, yeah, I'm not going to tag him. But uh, we'll see what he gets in free agency. Please tell me there's a quarterback. I mean, that'd be pretty dope. Like, maybe I should have signed Aaron Rodgers after year one. So we'll see who's here with $66 million to spend. And I don't see a quarterback in the top five or so, guys. Matt Hasselback is here. I mean, we... Oh, Jamarcus Russell's a free agent. I didn't even notice that. All right. So we could go after Matt Hasselback, like the veteran option. That is a possibility. Donovan McNabb, also the veteran option. Like, do we have enough assets around the veteran? Probably not. Uh, I do want to see... Uh, not retirement. Uh, who is here at receiver, because we do need to add some receiver help. Um, and there is just no one really good in free agency um, in this video so far as at the receiver position. Now, I mean, we could look to trade. I don't know if there'll be any good quarterbacks on the trade block in the Rex Grossman, I'd pass. Uh, what pick do we have in this upcoming draft? We have number three. Oh, but I just, I mean, we could, I don't really want Sam Bradford. I don't. So if I could trade three. So I might go the Matt Hasselback option. I, I really couldn't find much in for, uh, the trade-wise. So I'm going to offer Matt Hasselback a one-year deal and then hoping he could take us to the playoffs next year. Uh, I think that's our best option. We could look at Flozell Adams to get another tackle as well. I mean, there's some 
good uh, defensive players here in free agency. But yeah, we're going to go after Matt Hasselback. I'm going to give him a one-year deal. I'm going to give him like 17 and a half mil. Yeah, and then I'll give him like a $12 million signing bonus. I mean, it's just a one-year deal, um, and that should be enough. I, I really hope so. Brian Harlacker is here, but he's 33. Uh, I would... Mm, Michael Huff. Uh, maybe I should have tagged him. Uh, he's getting a lot of offers, but I think we're going to let him walk. Maybe move Charles Godfrey back to strong safety um, and then sign James Sanders here to be our new free safety, or it could be strong safety. We can figure it out. Uh, so that is probably the option there. And then looking at just linebacker, I think we're fine. I think we're going to let Tommy Kelly walk and roll Jay Richardson as our new right end. And yeah, I don't know what else to do. I think I might go after, uh, I'm going to roll with AQ Shipley as our center next year. And then I think we're going to offer a deal to Flozell Adams, who is 35, a one-year deal, because we do have a little bit left to spend. And then I might draft uh, Des Bryant or Demaris Thomas with the third overall pick and get another good receiver on the team. So yeah, we are kind of going all in next year. I don't think Matt Hasselbeck is the quarterback to do it. Uh, but if you could at least bring us to the playoffs, and just kidding. He doesn't even sign with us. <laughs> You're kidding me. I just don't want to go Sam Bradford. I, I don't really want to build on Tim Tebow. I mean, maybe I'll take him in round two if he's there, but I don't even know if he will be there. Uh, receiver wise, yeah, there's some, I mean, like, I'm not taking Tebow at three, I'll tell you that, but there's some really good receivers in this draft. Damn. Uh, Antonio Brown. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, I might try to trade up at some point as well. I mean, Gronk's also in this class. Let me just see. We got Adams, though, so we're pretty much good. I mean, we could use another guard like Epotty. Let me just make sure I have all the guards and centers scouted out. Jimmy Graham also in this class. Tony Moyaki. Wow. Uh, AH, not too familiar with that guy. So I think I'm going to go receiver at three. So I'm probably going to go Demaryius Thomas at number three. I think he'll be there. And then I'm going to look to take Tebow in the second round, I think. Just I'm hoping that his combine grade can make him good. AB, we could also go in round three. I mean, we could look at Gronk or Jimmy Graham. I just wish we had like a franchise quarterback for this team. I'm not even, I know this is dumb, but I'm not even going to use those 150 scouting points because I'm going to look at receiver. I, I'm probably going to make a trade or something like to move up in the second round, maybe give up my third, fourth, and fifth. Uh, something like that, or no, maybe my fourth, fifth, and sixth. I don't even know if I can get it done. So the Browns at one. Don't take Demarius Thomas, please. I would be upset. Nick Damakansu, 85 overall. Yeah, the dude's a beast. And then Trent Williams goes number two. So Sam Bradford's still here. We're not going to take um, uh, Gerald McCoy or uh, Eric Berry, Russell Okung. Yeah, it's a good class if you did not need a uh, quarterback. So um, yeah, we're going to take Demarius Thomas here. Pair him up with Julian Edelman, 80 overall, hidden development. Uh, I'm fine with it. Jermaine Gresham just went to the Giants when uh, you got Gronk and Jimmy Graham in this class. Des Bryant goes there to the Broncos. I mean, we probably could have traded down. Probably should have traded down. Yeah, I, I kind of regret doing that. But we are at 24. I might take Tebow with my pick and then trade up to snag like one of the studs also in the second round uh, without giving up my third round pick because I would like to maybe take AB as there goes Bradford. So we need about five picks of no quarterbacks. Uh, they have Stafford, I think. So yeah, they take TJ Ward. They got paid in Manning, so they're not going to take a quarterback. Uh, they just won the Super Bowl, but Kurt Warner did retire, so they do not go Tebow. Uh, Browns, they would have taken a QB number one, I feel like. Golden Tate goes there, and then Niners don't take Tebow on me. Don't take Tebow. They take Anthony Davis. So I think I'm going to be dumb here and take Tebow. I think I'm gonna. I mean, like, he killed the combine, obviously. He's got great throw power, great throw on the run. Um, I'm gonna take Tim Tebow. I'm gonna regret this. I know it. Uh, projected late first rounder. His talent's a fourth round mid rounder. And he is a 68 overall, but he has hidden development. That is massive. That is crucial. It is Tebow time in Oakland. I'm also gonna look to trade up. I mean, if I could get Gronk, I would love that. Uh, but I would like to give up. So I would wanna move. Can I move my fourth? fifth and sixth right now to move up into the second round all right so i traded my second next year a fifth and a sixth this year to get into the second round again uh yeah tebow's a 68 overall sheesh he's low uh yeah i'm gonna look to take gronk and then probably trade zach miller maybe get another pick for him i would like to add gronk and antonio brown in this draft as well i mean gronk might not be there with my next pick so uh, we'll have to wait and see as there he goes all right, uh, I'm crossing my fingers. Jimmy Graham is there. That's kind of why I traded up. Please tell me Jimmy Graham is here at the next pick, and he is here. Okay, we're going to take Jimmy Graham out of Miami. 82 overall hit of development, 10th and true value. Yeah, absolute stud. We knew that. So with my third round pick, I'm probably going to take AB, and now with Jimmy Graham, I'm going to look to trade Zach Miller. All right, so I traded Zach Miller to the Jets as well as my seventh and fourth round picks in this draft for their second and third round picks. So we are going to have um, another second and two third round picks to add to this team. So I'm going to add Geno Atkins. We know how good he is. Yeah, 81 overall, 13th in true value. We took him at 51 hidden development. I'm taking Antonio Brown here. 82 overall hidden development, 8th in true value, a top 10 player. 
Yeah, it did not work out in Oakland or Las Vegas later in his career, but we are drafting him. We are adding studs. Uh, it's just, I don't know how to feel about quarterback. Uh, I really don't. Uh, interior line also isn't the greatest. I mean, I don't really think there's anybody else that's too good here that I could really draft. I mean, Marshall Newhouse might be the best option. I mean, yeah, I guess. Uh, I'm like, if I didn't need a receiver, like I probably shouldn't have even taken Demaryius Thomas because I could have just waited. Um, actually, Eric Decker already went. Like he was still here. That was pretty good. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go for that guard and that, and that will probably be it. Marshall Newhouse, please be solid. Please be solid. 68 overall, not too solid. So here we go. This is the new team. This is the new draft class. Demaryius Thomas, Tim Tebow, Jimmy Graham, Gino Atkins, Antonio Brown, Marshall Newhouse. Not not a bad uh, draft whatsoever. Yeah, this team is definitely the best we put together yet. We just got to see how Tim Tebow does. So we have uh, Adams and Lang as our tackles, College and Newhouse um, as our guard, Shipley as our center. Uh, and then we got Jimmy Graham, AB, Julian Edelman, Demarius Thomas as our receiving threats. With Sean McCoy in the backfield, Tim Tebow. Not bad skill positions whatsoever. Uh, on the defensive side, we have Sean Phillips, uh, James Sanders as our free safety. We have Kirk Morrison still as our middle linebacker. Thomas Howard at outside. Charles Godfrey starting strong safety. Akeem Tlaib's a 90 overall. We got Nassamni Asamoah. Awesome we still have route there. Uh, Jay Richardson, uh, Gino Atkins, Cohen Jenkins, and then OCU Minora. Uh, special teams, we still have Leckler and Janikowski. And then specialist, our slot receiver will probably still be Julian Edelman. And then route will be our slot corner. If Tebow could just play above average, this is a playoff team 100%. For looking at schemes, 4-3 uh, under is probably... Um, no, we're going to go 4-6. Okay. Um... I think that means, uh, I just want to make sure we're not running two middle linebackers, correct? I believe so. And then offense, yeah, we got to change this. So our best scheme fit is a vertical zone run. So we'll probably just go to that. So here's going to be the next draft class if we don't win the Super Bowl. And yeah, I probably should have waited for a quarterback because you do have, I mean, the 2011 draft class was loaded. Maybe not a quarterback. Like, I, I don't even know, like, Terrell Pryor, like, Kaepernick would be rated good. Uh, but, yeah, like, you're looking at Vaughn Miller, Marcel Darius, A.J. Green, Patrick Peterson, Julio Jones, Alden Smith, Tyron Smith, J.J. Watts in this class as well. Like, this class was absolutely loaded. So, let's see how we do. Uh, we started off the year uh, one and one. Hopefully, we can maybe make the playoffs. Oh, my God. Tebow led us to the one seed. Tebow led us to the one seed. You're kidding me. This man's going to be, like, a 70 overall after upgrade because I'm guessing he has, like, two. I mean... AP's got five upgrade points. That dude's getting, oh my God. Oh my God. I think that's Tim Tebow. Yep. New ability. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We drafted studs. We had a pretty good 2010 draft. Oh my God. AP's up to superstar X factor. Demarius Thomas is superstar. Tim Tebow's a 76. Oh my God. Gino Atkins, superstar. Wow. We kind of aced the 2010 draft class. I mean, oh. Oh my God. Okay. So we were the ones in Tim Tebow, 33 TDs, 15 interceptions, 3,700 yards. Rushing wise, the strong McCoy over a thousand yards, eight TDs. Uh, Tebow had 55 for 200. Receiving wise, the Mary's Thomas, Jimmy Graham, both over 900 yards. Uh, Graham, or excuse me, Brown and Edelman, both over 600. Blocking wise, did we have a really, not too bad. I mean, when the center is giving up the most sacks, that's probably not great. But uh, could be worse. Could be worse. At least we had a good tackle play. Oh, see, there we go. He had 13 more sacks this year than last year. And then interceptions. Yeah, it was probably the scheme fit that I messed up on. We did get coach of the year. Shout out to Lane Giffen. Offensive player of the year. We did have Tebow at nine. Defensive player of the year. Uh, we had Kirk Morrison at eight. Rookie of the year. What? Tebow was two. Jimmy Graham was four. Damn. Um, AB was nine. Ugh. Gronk, man. And uh, Demarius Thomas was six. And the defensive rookie of the year, Chino just missed out. And here we go. We're taking on these San Diego Chargers at the time here in the divisional round. So it's actually a division matchup. Phillip Rivers versus Mr. Tim Tebow. Uh, you can see the playoff bracket here. You have Dolphins and Browns. You got Falcons and Niners and Cardinals and Packers. So can we advance to the AFC chip game? That would be just massive. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. We went 21 to 17 and we're taking on the Miami Dolphins. So we beat them by three. It was a pretty good quarterback performance from Tebow and Phil Rivers. I'm guessing Rivers had a lot of incompletions. 
Yeah, his completion percentage was a little bit lower than uh, Tebow. Rushing-wise, McCoy was all right. Uh, LT, we kind of held him in check. And then over to the receiving side, Vincent Jackson went off there. Hayward Bay and Antonio Gates. Oh, wow, they, the three top receivers in this game. Edelman at 6 for 73. Woodhead got a touchdown. Uh, we gave up two sacks. And then defensive side, we had uh, a couple sacks of our own. Technically, three, four sacks. Uh, not bad and no interceptions. So here we go. The conference championship. Jimmy Graham is going to be like an 88. Awesome was a 99. Let's see. Can we beat the Dolphins? Demary like, we just have so many weapons around Tim Tebow. I can't believe I have Tim Tebow as my quarterback. And we beat the Dolphins. Let's go. We went 23 to 17. Tebow. I mean, he's not going to throw for a lot of yards. But he is allowing us to go to the Super Bowl to face Michael Vick. Wow. Two completely, like, at this time. Uh, Vic was not in jail anymore, but you're looking at two players on the complete opposite end of their spectrum, I guess, morally. One allowed dogs to fight each other while the other one was like a Christian virgin. So, yeah, an interesting Super Bowl matchup to say the least. Yeah, Ryan Fitzpatrick threw three interceptions, so we get our first uh, interceptions of the playoffs. Lawrence Maroney was their starting running back. And then receiving-wise, Jimmy Graham had himself a field day. Uh, they Ted Ginn Jr., Kenny Britt. Brian Edwards, but yeah, we're going on to the Super Bowl. I thought we would need another year. I did. Uh, Thomas Howard, Beast, Colin Jenkins, Beast, Geno Atkins, Beast, Interceptions, Thomas Howard, Beast, Godfrey, and Sean Phillips. Let's go. Do we have any forced fumbles by any chance? We did not. And yeah, let's advance here to the Super Bowl. We'll hop in. We'll let the game simulate. And if like there's like a fourth quarter drive, we can play it. So let's upgrade our guys. Um, AB is an 88. Atkins is like an 86. Oh, I'm nervous. Uh, 12 and 4 Falcons. Let's do this. All right, Tebow. Let's get us started early. Come on. Get us a touchdown. Let's go, Tebow. He's driving us down the field. Come on. Let's get seven. Let's get seven. Come on. You're on the two yard line. This is what I'm talking about. Oh my God. Okay. First thing on the one. Why is Danny Woodhead running back? I don't know. But we're on McCoy touchdown. That is the best start ever. And they come down with ease. Okay. And they get it right back. No defense being played in the first quarter. Big play there to Antonio Brown. Big play there to Danny Woodhead. He's having himself a game. All right, come on. Third down, we do not get it. All right, Sebastian, please get that. Thank you. We have one of the best kickers in the league. Come on, get a defensive stop, please. Come on, come on. No. So we give up two touchdowns right away on them. And, okay, huge play there to Demarius Thomas. Let's get, oh, get sacked. And that is a field goal, 57 yards. Janikowski is an absolute stud. Defense, step up. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, Tebow, right before the half. Get me a touchdown. We're rolling a little bit, maybe. First and 10, a little bit. And there we go. Another first down to Julian Edelman. Come on, Tebow. Boom, another first down in the red zone. Now Dominic Hartwell getting involved. And it's a third and long. And do we get the first? Oh, we are two yards short, but we kicked the field goal. So that's our third field goal. Come on, come on, come on. A huge play there. Two, Steve Johnson. I don't know. That's I got part out. I don't think that's Steve Johnson. And they get a huge play there to Chris Henry. And they're probably going to kick a field goal. Yes, they do, Chris Brown. So uh, we're going into the second half. Can we get a field goal? No, we cannot, unfortunately. So they do have Ray Rice. So Ray Rice and Mike Vick, literally the most <laughs> interesting Quarterback, running back deal, you could say. Did not age well. At least Vic came back and kind of re redeemed himself. But you obviously can't excuse what he did. Uh, so we are down by eight right now. And we're punting. Come on. Come on. This is it if they score a DD. Oh, they get a field goal. Okay, Tivo, I need a touchdown. And I get nothing. Come on, Tivo. Come on. Ah, it's not looking too well. Not looking too well whatsoever. It's 16 to 33. Oh, we do get a TD, though, so it's too little too late, as we will get a chance, but we're down by two scores, so this game is unfortunately over. Yeah, we ended up losing the Super Bowl. Rip. So Tebow threw two interceptions and zero touchdowns. I mean, he threw for 400 yards. Not a bad, like, completion percentage either. Damn, that hurts. Michael Vick played really well rushing-wise. Uh, Ray Rice did well. Um, Michelle McCoy was all right. Uh, looking at the receiving side, Antonio Brown went off. Same with Edelman. Thomas had a good game. Graham kind of was kept in check. And then blocking-wise, uh, we didn't get any sacks. We gave up three. Oof. Oof. So that game was maybe more in our defense than it was our offense. But yeah, that is going to be for me. I hope you guys enjoyed my first historic rebuild on the channel. That was super fun building this team together. And uh, we almost won a, a Super Bowl with Tim Tebow. So yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed the historic rebuild by dropping a thumbs up. And if you want to see me do another one, let me know down below. I'll be looking if there's like other rosters like I wouldn't mind doing like a 2014 rebuild or like just random years like that. Uh, because I wouldn't want to do always 2007 because then we'll kind of have a, uh, it'll be the same players each time. Like I wouldn't mind starting in 2011 and we could draft Cam Dude and build around him on the Panthers like that would be fun something like that but yeah thank you all for watching I love you guys I'll catch y'all on the next one peace